No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer and online coach and a slightly different video than planned today. Uh, we still have some issues with the audio, that is why I'm recording this on uh, the lavalier mic. Um, just a little road lav mic. I actually wanted to record another like, watch me build type video um, using my screen etc but the audio just isn't you know what I want it to be. Um, I've recently moved place so now I have my own very uh, my very own apartment in Amsterdam and uh, th th just because there's not enough furniture yet you know we're still uh, getting a lot of furniture delivered and um, there's a bit of an echo in in the office space um, so basically moved out and purchased everything new so new desk new office space everything and I've left all my old stuff uh, back at the old place and like I said because we haven't got a lot of stuff um, you can just hear the echo so with the lav mic it's not as bad um, when I record with my uh, Blue Yeti mic and my screen etc it is very echoey I don't think the quality is enough or to the point where it should be uh, for this channel but anyway um, a video that I wanted to record today is about lead generation I know Facebook lead forms versus conversion ads and I got this question in a Facebook group not so long ago um, I went live in a Facebook group just to give some information and answer some questions based on Facebook ads like a Facebook ads troubleshoot live if you will and one of the questions that I got was basically you know what is better if you are running for a lead generation client should you use the Facebook lead form objective within Facebook ads manager or should you use the conversion objective and create your own landing page and the big plus about the Facebook lead form is that when a wait so when you set up the lead form and when a potential customer clicks on that lead form um, they basically get a pop-up with the information that you want to capture so their name email address telephone number you know you name it and the great thing about the Facebook lead form is that it's already filled out so what Facebook will do it will pull its data from that personal that person's profile for example their name their email address etc and just pull that through and automatically have that filled in so all that person needs to do is click on confirm or submit and then they'll basically be sent to the next page now the downside of that is that because it's so so easy for someone to fill out that Facebook lead form that the quality might not necessarily be there so if you are just scrolling on Facebook and you see a Facebook lead form for some kind of free consultation free PDF um, free piece of value free video free training anything like that and you click on it and you need to manually fill out all this information name email address maybe even your address and telephone number then you'll think twice about actually filling it all in just because of the time it takes and then you know while you're filling it in you're realizing that you know it is taking a little bit longer for you to get whatever it is that you want and then you start questioning you know do I actually want this is this actually something that I'm truly interested in or did I just impulsively click on it because um, the ads had like some kind of clickbait offer in it and I thought you know yes you know let's actually jump on this and with the Facebook lead form if it's already filled out you don't really have that you know it's automatically filled out so people are more likely to click on it more likely to become a lead which makes it easier for you to gather a lot of email addresses but like I said the quality might not necessarily be there so what I usually do is I usually start with the Facebook lead form just to gauge what that quality is like just to see what it's like um, in terms of you know if these leads show up if there's some kind of consultation at the end of it um, how many leads actually become a customer or you know actually en end up making the purchase depending on what type of client it is and then from there I will basically build out a landing page on ClickFunnels I highly recommend ClickFunnels for this you can create it on you know, WordPress or anything like that but my personal preference does go out to ClickFunnels so what I'll then do is while the Facebook lead form is generating uh, leads for our clients and you know basically it's, it's like a quick win right so the client can see leads are coming through they're happy and then in the meantime I build out a ClickFunnels landing page and then I basically you know switch over the campaign from there so the plus side of the Facebook lead form uh, lead generation objective within Facebook is that it's easy to get a lot of leads the downside is that the lead quality 
might not be as high. So what you can do if you do not want to use click funnels or you do want to use uh, you don't want to use a conversion objective, you can continue with the Facebook lead generation objective within Facebook, which will basically you know uh, enable you to create that lead form on Facebook. But you can add more questions, so add basically more hurdles for that person to jump over. Uh, in order for them to get to the desired results. So if it is a free consultation for a personal trainer, anything along those lines, um, then have their name, email address, uh, so first name, surname, and email address, which will usually be automatically filled out by Facebook, and then add additional questions just to qualify the audience more. So you can ask for their height, their current weight, um, how often they currently go to the gym, how often they want to go to the gym, and so on and so forth. And the information might not necessarily be absolutely necessary for you at that moment in time, but you just want to increase the amount of questions on that lead form so that you can increase the quality. And the more questions you ask, yes, the less people are likely to fill it all out, but the people that have filled it out are most likely of the highest quality. Now, that is with the Facebook lead form, so the lead generation objective within Facebook. If you wanna use a conversion objective within Facebook, then what you'll need to do is, like I said, create a landing page on ClickFunnels or WordPress. Um, and like I said, my preference does go out to ClickFunnels. Then what I want you to do is I want you to set up custom conversions. You can also use the Facebook standard conversions, you know, leads, complete registration, etc. cetera. Um, usually I set up my own custom conversions just so I can track it a bit more specifically and uh, just so I can add those custom events and custom conversions to the flow and show them exactly, uh, show the client exactly you know, what is going on at a moment in time. So let's say we uh, continue with the personal trainer example and um, the first page is a landing page. So th when they click on the advertisements, they get sent to the landing page. They see the landing page, it has some information on this uh, personal trainer and uh, the flow for this personal trainer. And then there's a call to action button on the landing page that basically says, listen, if this sounds like something you're interested in, if you want, we can uh, basically schedule a free consultation. And then from there, we can book in a free personal training session, etc. cetera, um, if we think we are a right fit for each other. So it will go from landing page to calendar page. And then when, once they filled out, you know, what time they are available, etc., then they get sent to a thank you page, which basically says, you know, you're all booked in. I look forward to speaking to you. And um, the call will be on, I don't know, the call will be on WhatsApp and uh, make sure that you are available on WhatsApp. Make sure that um, you test out, um, I, I don't know, whether the number works, you know, anything along those lines, just a confirmation page. So then the flow will be a Facebook ad to landing page to calendar page to thank you page. And what you can then do within Facebook is set up custom events so that you can track every single page of the flow. So you can set up an event that only fires when people are on the landing page. And how do you do that? You look at the string of the URL. So let's say the URL is, I don't know, online personal trainer, or in this case, physical. So we can say um, physicalpersonaltrainer.com forward slash landing page. Then what you do is you create a custom event that only fires if it says landing page. And then every single time someone comes onto that landing page, it will register as an event. So then we know exactly how many people are on that landing page and how many people have clicked through and successfully gone onto that page that we want them to go to. Then we do the same for the calendar. So we can have physicalpersonaltrainer.com forward slash calendar and then set up the same thing again. So we set up a custom event or a custom conversion that only fires when the weird calendar is in the URL. And then we do the same for thank you page as well. Then we set up those custom events within our ads manager so that we can track everything from outbound, uh, click to you know the thank you page. And then what I want you to do is optimize for the last event. So you set up a conversion um, campaign and then you optimize for that last one, which is the thank you page. Why? Because we wanna basically tell Facebook, okay, find those people that are most likely to hit that thank you page. Then you can set it up. For example, you can set up that custom conversion to be a lead. So everyone who hits that thank you page is considered a lead. You tell Facebook to optimize for that. Facebook will then go out, show your ads to uh, people you know within the audience that you've selected. And then as soon as someone hits that thank you page, the feedback loop will basically be complete. Facebook will see, okay, this type of person is most likely to hit that thank you page, is most likely to become a lead, 
and then you can optimize for leads within that conversion campaign. Now, I hope I basically explained this um, properly. I hope that made uh, sense for you guys. You know, I understand that it is a bit of a, a dry, uh, it's dry information, right? It's especially if it's not necessarily relevant to your specific niche or your specific agency then you know this might be quite a bit of uh, a piece of boring content but i just hope that you know this helps uh, you guys out especially when you have lead generation clients now if you need any help with facebook ads or if you know just getting clients in general for your agency i do have my very own coaching program where i teach you exactly that so i teach you basically what i do how to start your own agency how to get your first clients how to get multiple clients but very, you know, what, what is most important is also how to get results, okay? So how you can make sure that your client stays with you and doesn't you know, leave after two months, making you uh, be out in the trenches and trying to find that first client all over again. If you find this interesting, the link will be in the description box down below. And what you need to do is basically schedule a call with us first, just so we can see if we're a right fit for each other. If I don't think I can help you, then obviously, you know, I won't actually offer you a place in the program. If I'm confident that you are a right fit and that I can actually help you, I'll offer you a spot in the program and then we can basically start building out your agency from the inside out. But for now, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.